What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so, we've explored long, 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 and yeah, initially I said this was going to be a weekend only kind of walkthrough. Maybe finish this whole thing by December, but times have changed, and uh, what we're going through right now, yeah, it called for more walkthroughs and all that stuff. So yes, this is the final episode, and uh, yeah, the all-star team that I said I was going to have, I kind of nixed that idea, because there's not a lot of Pokemon that we could choose from. I mean, I could choose Stampy, but not a really good Pokemon. Uh, I could go with Tonks of Batman, but I don't want to kick out Godzilla. I could have used my Sparky, evolved it into a Raichu, but then my niece would have been mad if I wouldn't have used her Pokemon, so yeah instead of uh, going with an all new pokemon team right here let's go right ahead and just use the same old team that we've had since day one granted that i did teach him a few new moves i said f it you know what this is the final episode let's go ham on the tms and teach them to the right pokemon right here so yeah this is how it's going to end right here pokemon leaf green in all its entirety and all that stuff again steely four and, uh, yeah, whatever. So, after completed the whole Se Se Sevi Islands, the whole Ruby and Sapphire kind of thing, you can actually come back to the Elite Four because Lorelei will have returned from her little vacation over at Four Island, as you can see. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. She's looking fine as always. Lorelei, you are just... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anywho, we can't keep on stalling and just looking at her and all that stuff. As much as I like to ogle her, we got a battle, so let's go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei of the Elite Four, have returned. You know how it goes. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? Why, yes, baby. I'm always ready. Here we go. Round two. Fight! I love this song. I really do. <laughs> That's never gonna end. And here we go. Going up against our girlfriend Lorelai, and she will be coming out with a level 64 Dugong. Yeah, let's go. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna go to another screen and all that stuff because, uh, yeah, we gotta complete this whole walkthrough. We already know what she's coming with. In the second round against the Elite Four, you will actually be battling much more powerful Pokemon. Not only that, but they will be switching up your Pokemon to different typings, different kinds of Pokemon and all that stuff. Some that you might see in Johto. Now, I remember when I first battled uh, Lorelei for the second time in this whole thing right here. I was surprised. I was scared shitless because I saw Dugong at level 64. My strongest Pokemon was like at level 67 and the rest were like at level 50. That was scary to me just because she's coming out with a stronger Pokemon. I was like, holy crud. And that's when I realized that this game progresses. As the, the more they progress, you progress, they progress. And uh, yeah, taught me a valuable lesson right there. So let's go with the Surf right here. As you can see, she does have a pile of swine. It is both weak against fire and water type Pokemon. I, would, I, I, I could be wrong, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. And look at that. Super effective, kicking everybody's ass. And here she comes out with her Jinx. Alrighty, Godzilla, you're next. And as you guys probably already know, this is a one full episode against me, or me against the Elite Four, and yeah, Gary. Apparently he is the quote-unquote champion after not beating me, you know, that kind of stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that once we get there. But as you can see, Flamethrower for the win. Suck it, Jinx. Yeah, buddy. You can hear her cries from a mile away. Alrighty, and she will be coming out with a cloister right here, so let's go back to our good old buddy, Aaliyah. My baby girl. I know. You guys wanted to hear her on a, on a walkthrough episode, but she kept on going back to Hawaii and all that stuff. That kind of peeved me off, so it is what it is. She's still watching my walkthroughs right here. She's excited that, you know, a Pikachu is named after her. And look at that, Thunder. For the win, suck it, Cloyster. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, and Thrasher keeps on growing, going more levels without, you know, doing anything else. Uh, you know what, let's go with Leah right here and see if we can actually beat it with one Thunder. Look at that, Lapras level 66, here we go, Thunder for the win. Yeah, buddy. Finish it, finish it, finish it, god dang it. Lapras, of course, is a tanky Pokemon, but yeah, not a smart one. Boy, it is a smart one. 
but it's paralyzed now and it is taking its cherry berry, curing it of paralysis. Wow, smart. Very, very smart. And that ice beam nearly takes us out. So here we go, Thunderbolt for the win. Yeah, buddy. And there we go, Lapras is no more. That's right. That's right. So there it is, guys. First one defeated. Things shouldn't be this way. Well, it is this way, baby. You're looking fine as always. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. Only you, you only got a taste of the Pokemon League power. Okay. So that's one down. And we got plenty of more to go. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. So like I said, every single one of these, uh... Every single one of these uh, trainers in the Elite Four, including Gary, has uh, progressed and has changed up their teams just a little bit. Uh, some of the, some Pokemon you'll see for the first time, and some, you know, it's going to be the same. And actually, you know what? I just realized something. We're going up against Bruno. So let's go right ahead. Right here. So round two, look at that. It's all brown and everything. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon become stronger without a limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Draven, we will grind you down to the ground with our superior power. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Alrighty. So here we go, round two against Bruno. And we already know, I love this song. Bruno looking all buff as always, and he's coming out with a Steelix! Look at that! Oh damn. Imagine, imagine the look on my face when I first saw Steelix. That right there was scary. Scary shit right there. And look at that. Flamethrower for the win. Yeah, I already knew what was coming. Now, another thing that I wanted to do was trade Pokemon. And uh, unfortunately for me right now, I couldn't even do that, especially on the VBA right here. Because, uh, I don't know, had, had the slightest, the slightest clue. And that wanted me to actually change up my Pokemon, you know, with Ultra Psycho. There was another thing, too. I wanted to use Mewtwo and Suicune on my team, but, you know, since I've never... Well, since I've gotten this far without using any legendary Pokemon, I figured that, well, why start right now? You know, I said I wasn't going to use legendary Pokemon. I'm not going to revert back to my Pokemon Platinum ways, so I didn't do it. And uh, here we are, kicking butt, taking names, Godzilla... Fly attack, eat that. That's right. Godzilla does the thing right there. Hit my only. Finished. Alrighty, and uh, well, he's gonna be coming out with a mod champ, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here with Godzilla. Just be aware of the rock slide and its cross chop. Mod champ is a very, very scary Pokemon when you're battling it, and it's trying to use a rock slide, but here we go again with another fly attack for the win. Nearly beats Machamp, and here comes that Rock Slide. Crud. Ah, oh, jeez. And, uh, well, it is super effective, so let's go with the Flamethrower. Of course, Machamp wants to be a dick. And revive its, uh, or use a full, a full restore right here. So here we go, Flamethrower. For the win. Alrighty, alrighty. Finish him, finish him, finish him, and damn it. So let's go with the Dragon Claw. Oh, he's gonna use another full restore. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. So let's go, Dragon Claw. Each you eat with it, each way you take it, man, I'm still gonna beat you. So Dragon Claw. Critical hit. Nearly takes him out. So let's go with a flamethrower right here. For the win. Yeah, buddy. And there goes Machamp. Alrighty, alright, alright. And here he comes out with one more Pokemon, and that is... Actually, wait. Is it one more Pokemon? I thought he would have had a, a Hitmon top. You lied to me. You know what? Fuck it. I taught... I taught Godzilla Blast Burn just for this occasion. Blast Burn. For the win. Oh, yeah. Just to look super badass right there. Look at that. And there we go. Steelix. Swept by Godzilla Godzilla. That's right. Alrighty, so Bruno has been defeated easily. He's like, why? How could I lose? Because I'm the champ? And uh, your Pokemon are pretty easy to beat? You know, it's an easy typing. I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take this away. And you know what? Let's go give it to a Leo right here. Since, you know, it's whatever. And hold on. Let's go ahead and use these Pippi-Ups. 
Screw it. Alright, we're gonna increase that blast burn just a little bit. There we go. And then, uh, let's see. Where are you? The experiencer. Let's give that to our good old friend Aaliyah. And, uh, let's see. Full restore. You gotta love this full restore right here. Alrighty. Alrighty, so you are fully restored right there. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, kind of feel like she does have psychic type Pokemon. Alright, we're, we're gonna take a big risk with Executimon right here. And, uh, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go right ahead. So, let's go into the next battle, which will be against Agatha, the ghost type trainer. And remember, she did switch her Pokemon, so just be aware of that. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. You're a child of Oaks taken in, or wait, wait, you're the child that Oaks taken under his wing on her, aren't you? That old duff once tough, uh, once tough and handsome. But that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now, he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. She's saying the same thing. He's wrong, Pokemon. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Draven, I'll show you what a real trainer does, or battles, or how a real trainer battles. I don't even know. Okay. Let's do it. Bring it! So here we go, round two against Agatha. And, like always, I love this song. I do. It pumps me up. So here we go, round two against Agatha, and she's straight off the bat just coming out with her Gengar. Remember, it's still a poison type Pokemon, and, uh, well, let's go with this this attack right here, the psychic attack. For psychic. There we go. For psychic. For the win. Suck it. Alrighty. As you probably remember, the last time Executimon came in against uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Agatha, she swept him. But this time, I'm gonna sweep her. Let's go with Tank. Mainly because it's a normal type Pokemon and it's got a little bit of something under its sleeve right here. So here we go, Mischievous. For the first time we're seeing it, but guess what? You didn't know that I had Shadow Ball and look at that Thunderbolt. Oh, crud. Must have replaced its, uh, whatchamacallit. It must have replaced its Haunter, probably. And there's that Shadow Ball. For the win! Suck it, Mr. Viss. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Oh, Leah kicking butt. And she's gonna be coming out with her Crobat, so let's go right ahead and, uh, take it out with Leah right here. Okay. Let's do this. Aaliyah, Thunder Attack. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get it. And, oh, wow, it survived. Oh, crud. And here comes a sludge bomb. That's not going to be good. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, here we go. Thunderbolt. Okay, so we're playing this game again where she's using her full restore. Okay, here we go. Thunderbolt. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Damn it, nearly takes him out. Alright, another Thunderbolt. That's right. Single handedly beating you. There we go, Crobat. You've just been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And here she's gonna be coming out with her arm box, so let's go with Thrasher. First time we're using Thrasher here. I don't think Thrasher's won a battle so far in the Elite Four. Could be wrong. Very, very wrong, but look at that. Arbok looking all strong and scary and everything. So here we go. Earthquake for the win. Oh, yes. Feel the wrath of Earthquake right here. Ooh. Nearly beats him. And here's that double team, Crud. So now, we're going to have to hit him again with another Earthquake. Hopefully it hits him this time. Stay, stay, come on. All right, here we go, Earthquake, finish him off. Should have bought some X moves or something, just to increase these things. And, damn it! Okay, you asshole Pokemon. You've asked for a Thrash Attack, and it misses. And uh, it has its very own Earthquake, oh wow. Okay, I see how it is. So who has the most effective Earthquake? Here we go. <laughs> And that is how you do it. It's first victory in the Pokemon League. There we go. There we go. And he's gonna be coming out with a, or she's gonna be coming out with a Gengar. So let's go back to Executimon. 
See, Executimon now has a full team. A full team, a full uh, family just to help it out right here. And here it is, level 70 Gengar, the first one that you'll ever face. And here we go with the Psychic, but here is a Sludge Bomb, crud. Uh-oh. Vengeance. That right there is Vengeance. Ah, uh, shoot. Here we go, Psychic. Finish it. Here we go, and it does it. Say goodbye to Gengar. Alrighty, okay, and then Aaliyah. Throws experience points, and looking at Agatha has been defeated. She's like, oh my, you're something special, child. Yes, I am. I'm very special. Okay, you win. I see what that old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Okay, alrighty. You know, she's, she's not that bad. She really isn't that bad. Okay, let's heal up our Pokemon right here. Don't need to see that. Alrighty, okay, okay. So we got that. And uh, we're gonna do with that. Thrasher, you did well. You did well. I don't think... Actually, everybody's been battling, which is good. Very, very good. Okay, and uh, let's see what else. We want one more Pokemon. There we go. Alrighty. So, let's see, who is next? Oh, yes. We are going to be facing Lance. And uh, we need to switch out our Pokemon. Probably has a Gyarados right here. So, okay. Maximum effort. Okay. So, here it is, guys. Supposedly, the final episode, or the final uh, battle. We all thought it was the final battle before we found out that, you know, eh, Gary, that asshole won the whole thing before us, so... Okay, let's see what Lance has to say. Ah, so you've returned, Draven! I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. Why do they keep on introducing themselves? They should have some different context or something. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, eh, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's nothing... There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your League Challenge ends with me, Draven. Yeah, kind of like the last time. I don't really think so. Okay. Well, you guys already know what I'm going to say. Let's just, let's finish this guy off right now. Bring it on. Ah, I love this song. Here we go. Round two battle against Lance, the uh, Elite Four champion or leader. No, he's the leader in this one right here. So here he comes out with the level 68 Gyarados. And, uh, yeah, that bastard has Intimidate, so let's finish it off right here with Thunder and Crud. That wasn't gonna work, and here he comes out with Earthquake. Ah, uh, Crud. And uh, there goes Aaliyah. Okay, so he wants to play rough right here. He wants to play rough. Okay, so who can beat this guy? I know. Tank. Alrighty. Let's go with Tank. And, uh, you know what? Rollout attack. It does have rollout. The only problem is, it's using Dragon Dance right now. And, uh, it's increasing its attack and speed, so... That right there is gonna be a little scary. So here we go. Rollout. Hopefully we can beat him quickly. Look at that. Super effective. Thunder Wave. Crud. Ah, uh, crud. Here we go. Rollout attack again. There we go. Come on. Finish him. Finish him. God dang it. So we need one more move, and he's using Dragon Dance yet again. Ah, oh, snap. Ah, oh, snap. Okay, so this is... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, this is getting a little crazy, but there it is. Gyarados defeated. Fatality. Alrighty, so he's coming out with a Kingdra. You know what? Let's stick with the tank right now, because it's going with its rollout. We're gonna stop until it stops us, and here comes its Dragon Dance, so now... Ah, crud. We're facing something very, very scary right now, and here we go, roll out. And it's super form. Finish him, finish him, finish him, it does! Okay, say goodbye to Kingdra. <laughs> so it's got one more. One more in him, and it might finish him off right here if it doesn't stay. Here we go. Earthquake attack. Yeah, right off the bat, he just attacks me. Ah, oh, snap. Here we go. Roll that attack. Finish him. Eh, if all else fails, use roll out. The mega attack. Oh, yeah. So there goes Dragonite. Oh, yeah. 
And he's going to be using an Aerodactyl, so now that... Wait, did I use all of my rollouts? Probably, but we're going to be switching out right here. Okay. Here we go. Polysway, meet Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl, meet Blizzard. And uh, there's that Aerial Ace. Oh, crud. Stay. Here we go. Blizzard. And luckily, I, I equipped Polyswag with a uh, Never Melt Ice, uh, Never Melt Ice, so this is all good. And crud, nearly beats him. All right, let's go with the Surf, and here he comes out with a Hyper Beam, just to be a petty asshole. Ah, crud. Stay, stay. There we go. There we go, Polyswag. That's how you take care of business. Suck it, Aerodactyl. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Alright, he's going to be coming out with another Dragonite. Hmm. Okay. I know what to do right here. Let's go with Tank right now. And uh, that's one more. And he's got a level 72 uh, Dragonite. So we're going to use a full restore right here. And uh, just make sure that it's not paralyzed right here. And uh, it's using its Outrage. Uh, snap. Okay, so... Roll out! Okay, so if you guys don't know, Outrage is the dragon type equivalent of Thrash Attack. After three or maybe four turns, it will confuse itself. So now I'm just gonna go with rollouts right here. And after two turns, suck on that, it is paralyzed, or no, not paralyzed, but confused, but it is well equipped with this, uh, the person berry, so it just snapped out of the confusion. So there it goes again with another Outrage. Oh crud, okay, so who's gonna take out who first? I have a feeling the tank's gonna win this one right here. Oh yeah, that's two. Here he comes again with another Outrage. Super powerful. And finish him off. Another rollout. There we go. And that is how you defeat a Dragonite. Simple. Just like that. Suck on that, Lance. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon Master. Yeah, I already knew that. I beat you once. I beat you again. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Draven! You are now Pokemon League Champion. Or, you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer you, uh, to face. His name is Gary. He beat the Elite Four before you! He's the real Pokemon League Champion. Okay, so how is he a Pokemon League Champion if we've defeated him before? He's never defeated me! The debate continues. I don't know. He will never defeat me. Never, ever, ever. And I will never... Well, I won't remind myself what happened in the first uh, first episode of Pokemon Yellow. Don't remind me, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and use one of these Max Revise right here. Don't really need anything else. Get up here, Aaliyah. Okay, so you're alive. And, uh... Okay. Let's see. First and foremost, I'm actually looking at my, uh... At the Bulbapedia right now. And, uh, let's see, the games, eh, eh, let's see, what the hell am I doing right here? Okay, so that is it right there, and, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, okay. Player character, god dang it, hold on just a sec, guys. I am looking at something right here on the internet, just to make sure that I am, uh, completely battling this guy. Uh, in the, the most strategic way. So let's see. I'm just moving forward, looking at this thing right here. Okay, and uh, okay. So the rematch. Ah, okay. I see what you were doing, you asshole. I see what you were doing. Okay. Let's go right ahead and switch out some Pokemon. So he thought he was gonna get away with it, but he wasn't. Alrighty. Final battle, here it is, going up against our rival Gary, somehow he won the championship again. Hey Draven! You came back! You came back Draven! <laughs> that, this is so great! My rival should keep strong and sharp! While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over the Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that could beat any type of any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion AGAIN! Yeah, you didn't really beat me, you're not that intimidating. Draven, do you know what that means? That, you know, the Pokemon League Championship here is bullshit? Because you kind of leaped over me for some reason, I don't even know. I'll tell you, I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. No, you're not. Okay, 
So here we are guys, the final battle against Gary. And I'm not going to refer to him as a champion because he is not the champ. Here he comes out with his newest Pokemon, Heracross. And here's my petty ass about to use Blast Burn. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to mop the floor with you, man. There we go. Say goodbye to Heracross. Alrighty, and he's going to be coming out with a Blastoise, so let's go straight to Aaliyah. Let's go destroy him. Oh, yes. Okay. You think you can beat me just like that? Here we go. Thunder Attack. For the win. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man, you have no chance. Of, oh, damn, he, he stayed. He stayed. Oh, crud. Here we go with that Hydro Pump. Okay. You want to defeat me? God dang it. Okay, so Aaliyah got it. Okay, so this is what happens when you get a little too cocky. But still, he didn't beat me. So I'm going to be with Exeggumon right here. And, uh, well, he's going to be using a Citra Berry. Okay. I got something for you. Giga Drain and Crud. Okay, I see what you're doing right there. I see what you're doing. He, he's taking it out on me right here. But guess what? Giga Drain. Oh, uh, yes. The Giga Drain will actually nearly beat him. Okay, so I can do Giga Drain one more time because he's going to be using Ice Beam. So here we go. He's going to be using a full restore to save his strongest Pokemon right here. All right, you big old SOB. Give me more of your energy. That's right. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. So that actually gives me a little bit more. So let's go right ahead and use a Giga Drain again. And this guy, using his Ice Beam, hopefully it won't defeat me. Ah, uh, crud. Stay, stay, stay. God dang it. Okay. So that's what happens when you get a little too cocky. So he's beating two of my Pokemon. Bet you anything you can't beat my third one. Here we go. Tank. All right, Tank. You know what to do. Strength attack. Ah, uh, crud. Using his hyper or hy hydro, uh, hydro pump right here. And here we go. Strength. Nearly beats him. And he's going out again with another hydro pump. I'm like, really, man? You're going to be hydro pumping me all the way? Strength attack for the win. Suck it, Blastoise. Yeah. And he's going to be coming out with his Alakazam, so I'm just going to stay right here. I'm going to stay pretty and use this Shadow Ball right here. And, of course, he's going to be using Calm Mind just to try and destroy me. Here we go. Shadow Ball for the win. Yeah, buddy. Takes him out. What now, Alakazam? What now? Alrighty. And look at that. Tank grows to level 74. That's also good. His speed should improve a little. So, he's coming out with an Executor. I'm going to come out with Godzilla again and be very, 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 very petty. Okay. Here we go, Executor. Eat this, Blastburn. Two, three. Eat it. It's a very powerful move. I really like Blastburn, but remember... It's also kind of like Hyper Beam, so you need an, an extra turn to actually uh, to actually uh, recover and all that stuff. And here he comes out with his strongest Pokemon, Tyranitar. So I'm going to go with Thrasher right here. Okay. All right, Thrasher, you know what to do right here. Mainly because Thra Tyranitar has Sandstream, and it's going to whip up that little Sandstorm right there. Alrighty. I wonder if this would actually work. Mega Horn. Since it is a dark type. It is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Super effective. And here he comes out with an earthquake. So, what will that do? Ah, uh, crud. Stay, stay, stay. God dang it, stay. Oh, my God. All right. Battle of the tanks right here. Battle of the uh, dinosaur looking mother lovers. Let's go. Earthquake attack. Let's get it, Thrasher. And it does it. Suck it, Tyranitar. Suck it. Alrighty. And look at that. Thrasher grows to level 72. What a good Pokemon. And he will be coming out with an Arcanine. So I'm going to stay right here with Thrasher. Mainly because of this Sandstream. And, uh, well. I have a feeling this Arcanine is going to do something stupid. Or something as stupid like my uh, Mexican friends would be saying. 
and I'm gonna use a full restore just to, you know, heal up my Pokemon and just prepare for this guy right here. So there we go. HP has been restored. I knew it. Okay. Extreme speed. I knew he was gonna use that. And yes, you are now poisoned, you asshole Pokemon. <laughs> That's right, and Thrasher will not be affected by the Sandstorm, so there we go, take that too. Don't need to beat him with that, look at that, poison! Oh, damn. Ah, earthquake, for the win. Finish him. Look at that. Triple damage, oh, damn. Nearly beat him, and of course Arcanine's gonna be using Iron Tail. Will that defeat me? No, it won't, because here comes the Sandstorm, and here comes the poison. Double that. Yeah, buddy. Take that. And take that. Oh, yes. Thrasher wins. <laughs> and just like that, we defeat the Elite Four and this this, this guy right here. He's like, no, it th can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the, po the League Champ, my reign is over already? It's not fair. Uh, technically speaking... You never beat me for that first championship, so technically you weren't the champion to begin with. Ah, suck it. Suck it, Gary. Alrighty, so he's like, why? Why did I have to lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Well, saying the same thing over and over again. Okay, whatever. So here comes Professor Oak again. Acting all happy and everything. For us, he likes us better than his own grandchild. So he's like, so you've won. Sincerely, sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you left, uh, first left with Charmander to work on the Pokedex. Draven, you have, come to, you have come of age. Gary, I'm very disappointed in you. You've been a disappointment since day one, so suck on that. I came when I heard that you've beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? Because you suck! Well, no. In a nicer way, he wants to say, he's like, You have forgotten how to treat your Pokemon with love and trust! Without them, you will never be champ again. And he's so true, that is so true. Okay, Draven. You understand that your victory was not on your own, your, just not your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Draven, come with me. Flipping you off, Gary. I'm flipping you off. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the Hall of Fame yet again. <clears throat> Congratulations, Draven. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored here, are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Draven, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Draven. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And uh, there we go again for the two-time Hall of Famers. Maybe three times for, you know, some other reasons and all that stuff. Okay, so here it is, guys. Two-time Hall of Famers in Kanto. Godzilla, Godzilla. Polyswag. Oh, yeah. Aaliyah, my baby Aaliyah. Tank the, the Snorlax. We got Executumon. And Thrasher the Nido King. Yes, yes. So there you go, guys. Two-time Hall of Famers, and this is how we end Pokemon Leaf Green. Finally. Wow. And look at that, your badass host, Draven. Champion yet again in the Kanto region. So, again, Gary, you can go suck a fat one. Bow down to the champ. That's right. Anywho. So, this is it, guys. We finally completed Pokemon Leaf Green after so many attempts. If you guys may have remembered, ten years ago, this was actually my very first walkthrough when I started as Draven XE711. And, uh, you know, after what? You know, a few years into Draven XE711, I attempted uh, playing Pokemon Leaf Green twice, and it, you know, it didn't really work out the way I thought it would, mainly because, uh, you know, I didn't really have the passion to do anything else. But now, now, I can honestly say that I am proud of the material that I made right here for Pokemon Leaf Green. I actually covered everything. Uh, from every battle to all the legendary Pokemon and uh, pretty much the storyline right here. So, what is next? 
Of course, I mentioned earlier that, or I mentioned early on in the walkthrough, that now I can do Pokemon Soul Silver uh, as a live comp. So that is probably the next remake uh, walkthrough that I will be doing. Uh, as of right now, don't know when I'm gonna I'm gonna be coming out with that because technically I'm doing Pokemon Liquid Crystal as a hack game. So it's like we're technically in Johto, but in a hack version and all that stuff. So don't know when I will be coming out with that. I might just go ahead and skip to Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out eventually. Uh, so as of right now, we're still going. We're still uh, going through this whole COVID nineteen thing. I know, I've mentioned this quite a few times, and I just want to say, honestly, guys, I hope every single one of you guys are all safe, it hasn't affected you or your loved ones or, or anything like that, and I hope that the walkthroughs that I am coming out with has entertained you in this time of, uh, you know, uh, uncertainty. Uh, as of right now, it is March 29th. Um, my extension here, or the, the lockdown extension right here at where I live, uh, has been extended for two more weeks, so yeah, you, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more walkthroughs, and maybe, just maybe, I might come out with that extra remake that, you know, I, I said that I'm going to be doing. Other than that, I hope we're all safe, and I hope that this thing ends pretty soon here, because, you know, we kind of need to go back to real life. Um, other than that, yeah, I got Pokemon Black. I've uh, already did... I've already done 40 episodes, guys. 40 episodes. So that means that that walkthrough will be done pretty quickly, and we will be getting to Pokemon X pretty soon here. Uh, Liquid Crystal, it's going to be, you know, it's going to take some time because I barely ever, I barely even played it. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see how many questionable mistakes I make right there and all that stuff. So, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, except that I'm very proud of the way this walkthrough came to be. And, uh, yeah. Check out Pokemon, uh, Poke Adventures HD. Yes. Shout out to that guy because uh, eventually he'll be doing a Pokemon Fire Red just to coincide with this. So keep an eye out for that one. And then, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, um, you know, keeping up with my Pokemon Leaf Green. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the other walkthrough videos that I come out with. Uh, you know, pretty soon here, thanks to that COVID-19 thing. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.